Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven. And in today's video, I would like to show you how you can translate your Microsoft form into multiple languages. So here's a use case. Let's say you have some sort of intake form. Uh, in my case, it's a vacation request form. And let's say you're part of a global organization. So you want to present this for the questionnaire um, in uh, multiple in different languages. All right. So by default, of course, it will be created uh, in your default language. In my case, uh, it's English. Uh, but let's say we now need to translate uh, once again uh, this form to different languages. All right. So it's actually pretty easy to do. Uh, let me show you how. So what you need to do is this. Uh, first, you need to add the language. Uh, to do that, you click uh, on three dots. Choose this option right here. All right. And by default, of course, right, it will be created in whatever your default primary language is. Uh, I'm going to add an additional language. And here's a list of all the different languages you can add. Uh, and in my case, let's add uh, a Russian. All right, that's uh, just uh, another language I happen to know. Uh, so I'm going to uh, translate this into Russian language. Now, it's all manual translation, so you kind of have to provide the translation. So uh, in order to do that, uh, the next step would be for you to click this little pencil icon over here. And essentially now you need to translate for each and every you know, entry, each and every uh, element on the form, you have to translate it into local language. So as you can see, uh, the title, right? This is where I need to provide uh, the Russian translation for this particular title. In my case, I'm just going to uh, utilize, you know, maybe one of the fields as an example. And by the way, by the way, uh, it does translate um, kind of um, this uh, tooltip, uh, you know, text, right? So as you can see, uh, where it says, it essentially says, you know, enter your answer here. So it does translate kind of the system, you know, text, but uh, for example, uh, if I want to translate this name field into Russian language, I have to provide um, the, the translation manually. So let me do that. I'm going to click. So essentially, this is where I'm going to type in uh, the Russian equivalent for the name. Uh, and let me do that right here. So I'm going to do uh, just that. All right. Uh, perfect. All right, and so on. You get the idea, right? I'm not going to uh, waste your time and translate each and every field, but as you can see, um, this is the Russian translation uh, of you, you know your name field. All right, so that's essentially what you need to do for all the fields. And now let me show you the experience uh, for the recipient. All right, so uh, obviously you will share your form just like you normally share. So let me copy the link. I'm going to go to a different browser. Uh, you know, paste that a link, all right? And essentially by default, it will load in uh, your default in your primary language. But if you notice over here, because we added an alternate language, and by the way, you can add multiple languages, um, you know, it says here Russian. So now when I click, if I'm a Russian speaker, and by the way, I am, um, it uh, obviously translates my form into the Russian uh, language now, all right? Uh, obviously, I just uh, only uh, translated one field, but um, if you provide the translation manually for each and every field, uh, it will be reflected on the form. Right? Uh, so that's essentially a nice and easy way for you to translate your form uh, and present it uh, in uh, multiple languages. Um, definitely, uh, probably a mandatory requirement if you are a, a global company. So that's all I really wanted to show you today. Hopefully, you learned something new. As always, happy to see you on my blog. SharePointMaven.com, and thank you for watching. Goodbye.